Welcome to the home of the New York Mets. This is City Field. MLB the show with a good one coming at you. It's the Cincinnati Reds going up against the New York Mets. Just about to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, Kodai Senga. Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. Bunting, and it's in the air. On the run, throw to first, yeah, and the bunt attempt doesn't work out. <laughs> in now for the Reds, T.J. Friedel. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Ortega makes the catch, and there's two away. Now here is Spencer Steer. Number seven, Spencer Steer. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So two down. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Joey Votto. Votto with a swing and a high drive deep to right field. That one's carrying and gone. He sends it out of here and they jump out front. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Stevenson. Swings through that. Double. One strike. Slapped foul. Right-hander kicks, deals. Pitch misses there. It's a ball and two strikes. Action in the Mets bullpen. Phil Bickford up and loosening in the pen. Got warming up as well. That one hit to right. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Joey Votto goes deep for Cincy. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball. Welcome back. And towing the slab here, Andrew Abbott. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Rafael Ortega, the next to hit, takes ball one. That one oh. misses, and now 2-0. Oh. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't oh. give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. That one's in there. Three balls and a strike. Left-hand batter waits. Fly ball down the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And there's one away. Ronnie Mauricio now. The switch hitter batting right. And that's in there for strike one. Hold one. And 
and that's in there at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase oh. if you look down in that area. Next offering That's misses. Up. It's two and two. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. One down, base is empty. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Pete Alonso yeah. in there, and it's 0-1. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonso. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. The pitch. Stays alive. The next oh. offering misses. Going to count one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level. Have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. Next one is off the play. And it's two and two. Oh. And down on strikes. Third out. Down in order. Go the Mets. They trail things. Phil Bickford taking over on the mound. Now just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. So now here's the DH, Jake Fraley. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. That one to first. He steps on the yeah. bag, Ow. one up, one down. Jonathan India at the plate. The second base, Jonathan, Jonathan India. India. Here's a high chopper. Sends it to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. Two outs, base is empty. Noel V. Marte now at the plate. Noel V. Marte. To third, Baden sends it across to first, and it's a one, two, three inning. Back here at City Field, here's Francisco Lindor. Abbott back to work. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple Hello. gold gloves one, and a platinum glove, multiple all star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player, Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also oh. got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, I love it when he comes okay. to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. Another one, two. Connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And now it's Mark Vientos. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one at the knees for a strike. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitcher's umpire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, Boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you.
And he hits a ground ball right side. Oh, and it hits the base. And he's out on the tag. Down the third baseman, Brett Beatty. In there for strike one. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing in two. And a pitch. That just misses. It's a ball and two strikes. down looking nothing doing for the Mets and they're down out of the third inning and ready to hit now for Cincinnati Will Benson and a pitch lifted in the air right center field Ortega on the move to the alley puts the squeeze on that one and there's one down he was all over that LA. first pitch fastball. Still just like barely room. missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Bunch attempt, but that goes foul. Bickford measures six feet, four inches, 200 pounds, a former first-round pick back in 2015. Right-handed reliever and fires in a fastball at 95. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Next pitch one, way two. upstairs. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And here it comes. Swing and a ball popped up. And it stays fair. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Not in time. It's a double. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition. And he's got speed to put on a show. One down. Next for Cincinnati. T.J. Friedel. He's over one. Line drive. And a base hit into third now so runners at the corners and one out up next so Cincinnati. they're at the corners the now Spencer, Spencer Steer the next to hit Steer. for the Reds swing and a miss going oh, one in the infield at the corners don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring Ground ball right side could be two. Lindor, that's one. And that's two. So no runs, two hits, no errors, and one man left. We head down. And welcome back. Bottom of the inning, leading off Francisco Alvarez. Now a mound visit coming. And with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. First oh, offering okay. misses the mark. And there's a the ball. One. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. Goes down looking for the strikeout. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Now it's DJ Stewart.
And that one fouled off. The 0 1. Fought off foul. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Goes down looking. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. At the play, Danny Mendez. At the ball. And the first pitch what misses for ball one. In the air, right field. That one gets down for a hit. So the two out knock extends the inning and sends them back to the top of the order. Rafael Ortega stands in. 0 for 1 so far. And that's oh. doubted away. In the air, foul off first. Votto settles underneath it. And he makes the catch. Ball game. And the Reds claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. In a three-inning game, a 2-0 win can sort of feel like a mini blowout. Nice job to jump ahead and a great job by the pitching staff to shut him out. 2-0 your final here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.